Hello everyone, this is Roman with Linton. I just wanted to talk to you about the new customer journey report that's in beta currently from HubSpot. Find it to be a very useful report in understanding uh, how your leads, visitors to your websites become customers and the path that they follow. Everyone has a different customer journey and I think it's important to realize within your data set the primary customer journeys that are being taken. So to start looking at that we'll go to reports over here where we're on the report screen and up and to the right where we typically create things in HubSpot we'll click the orange create report button and we'll come to the report creation screen And you'll see that there's a number of reports that you can create from scratch. And we're going to go to create the customer journey report. Uh, you'll notice that this is in beta, so that means that it's, it's still uh, not fully released, but it is uh, being opened up to testing and use uh, on your portal. So we'll uh, just proceed with a word of caution that expect um, improvements and changes in any beta features that are in HubSpot. So we'll click into customer journey reports. Give it a second to load up. And basically what you're gonna wanna do here is you're going to want to add touch points that you're interested in. Um, that are followed on the customer journey. So we're going to just add a few to give you an idea of what this may look like. So we'll add uh, a lead as a touch point. And then we're going to, and you can also add different lifecycle stages. Um, we're going to go down here and look at, you can see all the different touch points that you can add, um, but what I'm primarily interested in is we'll add pages visited uh, as a touch point. And then we'll finally add a let's talk uh, click, which is our call to action to talk to us on our website so we can see um, what this looks like, um, at least with this uh, data here as the touch points. You'll see there's different chart types. I like the Sankey chart. It really kind of shows the flow better. You also have uh, a classic horizontal funnel and the vertical funnel. So we're going to look at a date range of about a month. We have the option to select um, all contacts or you can filter a list of specific contacts. So maybe you have a segmented list of customers versus non-customers. So you can see what type of journey that they followed, or maybe you have a specific service or product focus list that, that can be used. So we're gonna go ahead and run the report. And we'll give it a chance to create the data. And you can see here, it's a nice little uh, report, and you can see the flow and the um, the the drop off of um, pages visited and the count of contacts. Um, so let's take a look at this. So we have a hundred, or I'm sorry, eleven hundred forty nine leads. Um, then um, we have filtered down to the count of contacts of 378 um, contacts that have visited pages. And then we don't, at least for this particular time frame, have um, any contacts that have converted on the Let's Talk click. So we have, um, you can see um, that the contacts have moved down from pages to visited. 
um, and none yet on the let's talk click, no contacts converted. But you can see how the drop off is of the total contacts that you have and the pages visited and then a call to action click. So it's a useful way to view your customer journey. And as you see more touch points that you're interested in, you can add that into your report. Any questions, um, please let us know. You can visit LintonWeb.com and click on the Let's Talk button. We're happy to help you. And you would be also able to save this report or export the report as needed. Thank you.